Hello, welcome to Scott Plays. Uh, sorry about the uh, background noise. Near quite a busy road at the moment. I am down in London for the Tabletop uh, Live, no, Tabletop Gaming Live uh, Gaming Convention. Um, and I don't know if you can see in the video, but behind me is the uh, skyline of London and uh, this is in possibly one of the nicest uh, venues for a uh, tabletop convention. Alexandra Palace, as I hope you can see, really beautiful building. Um, but yeah, as I said, next to a really busy road, so hopefully the uh, um, traffic noise isn't too bad. But, uh, anyway, about to go in, get some tickets, uh, what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll do a walk around the uh, trade floor and you can see what there is to see here. So welcome back to Tabletop Gaming Live. Um, had to get permission to record this video, unbelievably, even though I am here promoting their uh, show. So anyway, as I said, do a quick tour of the trade hall, see what there is about, and then I'm going to try and get some demos in. Um, so here we have the ILO booth uh, raid or raids. That's uh, I've been seeing that being talked about. It's meant to be quite a good game. Uh, oh, Forbidden Sky want to take a look at that oh wow that's really nice uh, what else do we have here uh, this looks like days of wonder not sure uh, a little warhammer stand as well um, but yeah, they're advertising Splendour and Cult Express and Timeline uh, and Warhammer Champions. Uh, let's see what else. Ah, board game crates. Uh, this Mantic. minis. Uh, this is Star Saga. It's, uh, Wild West Exodus. This is, I saw this at uh, UK Games Expo as well, I think. Uh, they do uh, dystopian wars. Um, big minis. Really nice detail on those. Little Pods and stuff, really cool. Uh, yeah. Loads of really nice, excellent scenery. And let's have a look. What else have we got? Uh, Games Quest. Um, probably come and browse them later. Queen Games. I'll have to take a look at what they've got later as well possibly get some demos. Uh, Luxor's meant to be quite good. Uh, not sure what stand this is. Uh, oh, it looks like it's Wayland Games. Uh, probably the less I say about them the better, quite honestly. <laughs> uh, ah, now this is something I want to take a look at later. Keyforge. Uh, excellent, well, interesting looking game. Uh, uh, yes, I, I'll be back later. Okay, I'm, uh, yeah, cheers. Um, I don't know, so this is Days of Wonder, so I'm not sure what the other stand was. Um, seemed to be a mix of stuff. 
Uh, they're advertising the river, which I've heard good things about. Uh, ticket to ride Yamatai Quadropolis. Uh, but yeah, may have to check out the river later. Um, let's have a look what else there is. bunch of people who I don't know who they are and they're not really telling me uh, oh and sticky castings if you're if you're into your miniatures and miniatures painting these are a great company they've got a fantastic range of stuff um, but yeah it's been a it's been a while since I've done any painting for various reasons um, Oh, Warlord Games as well, another good miniatures company. Um, yeah, well worth checking out their stuff if you're, if you're into into your miniatures and your painting. Uh, let's see what else we've got. A historical books, uh, loads of Osprey books. Um, again, if you're into your historical gaming, that's a place to look at. Uh, well, I'm sure of stuff here. Somebody called TT Combat, never heard of them. But loads of MDF uh, buildings, all sorts of sci-fi and uh, city buildings, really nice. But, uh, And Star Saga again. Bunch of stuff. Yeah. Uh, so who we got over here? Ah, Beasts of Balance. Keep hearing a lot about this. Really nice, colourful kids' game. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Okay. Ah, there's uh, Alley Cats with Dice Hospital. Um, next to the Stackbot stand. It's, uh, Yay Games with Ominos. Keep seeing those. They were at um, Dragon Meat last year. Uh, some t shirts. Uh, Oink Games, quite like some of their uh, Deep Sea Adventures is a really good game. Uh, what else we got? Foundry, another Minis people, looks like they're advertising uh, Escape from Colded as well. Thank you. And really loud announcer as well. <laughs> Uh, Anvil, let's see, a number of places, who's this, uh, ah, Meeple's Corner, a number of assorted things, uh, and here we have, what looks like part of Asmodee, uh, Kitan. Uh, oh, Escape the Dark Castle. This is getting a lot of buzz on the uh, the solo gaming um, groups and forums. Um, let's see what else. I just like trying to solve puzzles. We've got Cubicle Seven. So uh, various role playing from the look of it. Uh, uh, Magic Madhouse. Um, one of the two places I go to for card sleeves. Um, I'll certainly come and have a look at them later. Uh, see what oh, nice minis. Uh, they're very nice. Uh, this is Atlantis Miniatures. They are really nice. Uh, is there a game that goes with this? Uh, 
uh, there will be a game coming in about the next year, but we're not okay. going to rush it. Either. Right, we're yeah. Just building up a yeah. Wow. First. Yeah, the, the miniatures are very nice. That's very kind of you to say. Uh, yeah, I, I do a bit. A great response from the show. Mm, do a bit of painting myself, so. <laughs> so yes, there are several of these I wouldn't mind having a go at painting. <laughs> so, what what sort of game are you are you thinking in the long run of? It's probably going to be an RPG. Right. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Cool. Were you are you thinking of going Kickstarter with that or? Uh, I'm not actually involved with that side of right, things. Right. Okay. Uh, my friend Dan, who's the lead artist. Um, he will be able to tell you more about okay, how he plans right. on setting Yeah, I, I might come back later then. Yeah, that'd okay. be great. Yeah, thanks a lot. Cheers. Let's uh, see what else is there. Uh, Bushido. Uh, more. Very nice miniatures. Um, I've uh, recently got into L5R, so these are kind of appropriate for the moment for me um, those are nice uh, anyway let's see what else there is uh, deep cut mats uh, I've got a sort of dice no no I've got a one of their gaming mats um, they're quite nice uh, come in quite a lot of styles uh, I think it's the uh, the grass one that I've got, that one there. So, um, oh yeah, quite nice. Final, um, not bad. Uh, oh, it looks like they're doing you know, uh, neoprene now as well. Uh, let's see, this looks like a bit of open gaming space. Uh, so drop it and it's had a bit of buzz on various groups uh, this appears to be more asmody I think uh, advertising lowlands which they've got a demo of there now we've got who do not bombix repos to express uh, Modifius uh, some nice paint brushes uh, element games uh, a bit of a sitting area and let's have a look what else there is? Let's run down, and as you can see, this is pretty much the end of the hall. It's a pretty small trade hall, um, but quite a bit uh, of different games. Uh, CGE, uh, Pictomania. Uh, I shall come back there later. Um, have a chat with. Hall, hopefully uh, we've got chaos cards and uh, they are the other company I get my card sleeves from uh, uh, battle foam uh, very expensive foam but if you want to keep your miniatures looking nice they're well worth considering leisure games uh, oh Solomon Kane interesting is uh, Mythic Games. A lot of buzz about them. Uh, we've got Stuff by Bears, Osprey, and oh, I've heard things about this Cryptid. Interesting. Um, I didn't expect it to be quite so abstract. Uh, because it's about 
finding strange creatures like the Loch Ness monster and that kind of thing. So, why it's not more thematic? Uh, just DMB games. Yeah, not bad. How's yourself? Yeah, good. Mate. How's the show going? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Cool. Just, uh, just about to start running some D and D. Right. Taste a bit on the board. And, uh, cool. Cheers. Take care. Uh, gaming. My stand. Uh, we're back pretty much to where we started. Uh, yeah, Oink Games. Uh, T-shirt stall again. So I think I'm going to end this here because there's not anything else really to see. And then I'm going to go and find some friends. Maybe get some demos in. I, think, uh, I don't think this is going to show up, but up there is a really nice bit of stained glass let me see if i can get it to uh, there we go so uh, yeah as i was saying it's a really nice venue to have a uh, games convention in um anyway yeah as i was saying gonna find some friends get some demos in uh maybe do a bit of uh gaming with them and yeah i i may pop back on later to talk about what i've seen so Thanks for now. Hi, so it's been a couple of days since the uh, the show and um, I'm just doing some editing on this video and my plan had been to, at this point, have uh, something like this where I talk about uh, the demos I managed to do at the show and uh, games I played and sort of general thoughts about um, how it went. However, as you might be able to hear from my croaky voice, um, I got a cold whilst I was there and I've tried recording something like 20 plus times already and uh, my head is just not in the right place at the moment. So what I'm going to do instead is uh, write up those thoughts as a blog post over on my BDG blog. And once that's done, I'll post a link in the video description uh, so you can go there and read it instead. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you found the, the video um, enjoyable, interesting stuff. As you can see, my, my brain is just really not working at the moment. Um, but yeah, please uh, come back for more videos in the future. Um, I will be posting more as soon as I can. Um, anyway, again, thank you for watching, and I shall, or hopefully, you will see me again in the future. Mm -hmm.